Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. The May River Sharks baseball team came into the season relying on a number of young players in key roles, but the Baby Sharks have hit the ground running. On Monday, they jumped to number two in the most recent Class 4A poll from the South Carolina Baseball Coaches Association, and last night they improved to 7-0 with the 10-6 win at Phillips Simmons. The Sharks built a 7-3 lead behind four strong innings from starter Tyson Brasington, and Will Korn closed the door on an iron horse rally with four strikeouts over the last one and two-thirds innings to earn the save. Elsewhere, Walker Mickelson threw four innings and one-run ball to help Hilton Christian Academy stay hot. Forrest Ferry tossed a two-hit shutout for Patrick Henry, and Nico Martucci earned the win with three no-hit innings in relief and went three for five with an RBI and a run to lead Bluffton past Barnwell in nine innings. John Paul II's softball team opened its season in impressive fashion last night, spoiling Hilton Head High's home opener as Tevi Mullen struck out five over six innings and had two hits and three RBIs, while Shelby Penske was three for four with two runs and two driven in for the Golden Warriors. It was also a solid night on the pitch for JP2, as the girls rallied from a 2-0 deficit to earn a draw and the boys blasted Coastal Home School 7-2. Hilton Head High's girls lacrosse team rolled to a 16-4 win over South Effingham, while Buford's boys made it two in a row with a route of islands, and the Seahawk boys tennis team stayed perfect with a 5-2 win over HHCA. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!